Welcome to another Diacom information session. This session is brought to you by Rinda Technologies and covers features of the Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software. These sessions are designed to give you a better understanding of the operation of the Diacom software. Thank you for watching. This video covers the system selection for inboard and stern drive engine systems supported by Diacom. Detailed instructions for connecting to any of these engines mentioned in this video are located in Diacom's help system. To access these instructions, simply click Help in the program's main menu bar, then click on Diacom User Manual, and from the Contents tab on the left, click on Getting Started. Click on Choose System Type to access the System Selection menu. Diacom System Selection menu is designed to assist a marine technician in identifying the correct engine control system type prior to diagnosis. Choosing the correct system type is the single most important step a technician must make before diagnosing an engine. Choosing an incorrect system type will typically result in Diacom not being able to communicate with an engine. All system type choices shown in the menu are enhanced with photos of the actual engine control modules used for that system type, as well as pictures of the correct adapter to use for that system. Marine technicians can therefore match the photo of the engine control module shown in Diacom's menu with the actual module installed on the engine they wish to diagnose. Technicians can also use the photo of the diagnostic adapter to assist in locating the mating diagnostic connector on the engine's wiring harness. Clicking on the picture enlarges it for a better view. To select any system type, click on the desired system type so that it turns green and then click OK. If Diacom starts on the Mercury Outboard System Type Selection menu, click on Other Marine Systems and then click OK to return to the Stern Drive and Inboard list. The procedure for connecting to a Mercury Outboard engine is covered in another video. The first system type in the selection list supports General Motors MEFI 1 through MEFI 4 fuel injection systems. These systems were used on a wide variety of marine engines starting in 1992. MEFI stands for Marine Electronic Fuel Injection. MEFI engine control modules can be found on the vast majority of fuel injected stern drive and inboard marine engines produced during the 1990s and also on many non-mercruiser engines produced in the 2001 through 2007 time period. Pictures of the MEFI 1, 2, 3, and 4 control modules are located at the bottom left of the system selection dialog box. Clicking on the picture enlarges it. Mercruiser used MEFI versions 1, 2, and 3 before they changed to their own proprietary system in 2001, which is covered later in this video. New MEFI 3 controllers are no longer available, so any MEFI 3 engine controller that needs replacing will be replaced with a MEFI 4 controller with an adapter harness. For replacement kit availability, contact your engine manufacturer. Volvo Penta used MEFI 1, 3, and 4 control modules before they switched to a different system in 2006, which is also discussed later in this video. Engine manufacturers such as Inmar, Crusader, Pleasurecraft Marine, Marine Power, Kodiak, and Flagship Marine also used MEFI 1 through MEFI 4 systems during the 1992 through 2007 time period. The Diacom cable adapter for all MEFI 1 through 4 equipped engines is the same regardless of the engine brand. 
This adapter, part number 94005, is shown in the picture at the bottom right. The engine harness will have a matching 10-pin data link connector typically near the MEFI control module. Once you have confirmed that this is the correct system type for the engine you are working on, click on MEFI 1 through 4 menu item so that it is highlighted in green and then click OK. The next system type listed supports General Motors MEFI 5 and 6 fuel injection systems. These control modules have been used by Inmar Marine, Marine Power, Panther Airboats, Kodiak Marine, Chem Industrial, and other engine manufacturers. A picture of these engine controllers is shown at the bottom left. The MEFI 5 and 6 controllers have three connectors, have cooling fins, and use an OBDM compliant communications. OBDM stands for Onboard Diagnostics Marine and is a standard adopted by both CARB California Air Resources Board and the EPA or Environmental Protection Agency. The correct Diacom adapter for these engines is the CAN adapter part number 94023 or 94029 shown in the picture at bottom right. The next system listed is 2009 and up Inmar branded ECMs. This system type supports 2009 and newer Inmar engines equipped with EFI modules manufactured by E-Controls. There are physically two different EFI modules supported under this Diacom system type. The controller on the left side of the picture looks similar to a GM MEFI 5 module. The module has three connectors, however, unlike MEFI 5, it has no cooling fins. This trait makes it relatively easy to distinguish it from an original GM MEFI 5 module. This module was used by Enmar Marine to upgrade MEFI 5 equipped engines so that they would be capable of using a GPS based cruise control system. Therefore, this module can be found on many pre-2009 Inmar engines which were originally equipped with MEFI 5 and then later retrofitted in the field. The controller on the right side of the picture is an Inmar branded ECM with one 80-pin connector and is used on 2009 and newer engines. Diacom uses the CAN adapter to communicate with both of these engine controllers. The next system type on the list is the Mercruiser PCM555 and the ECM555. These are commonly referred to as the 555 or triple nickel controllers and were used on Mercruiser engines from approximately 2001 through 2009. These controllers are manufactured by Motorola. The major difference between the ECM555 and the PCM555 is that the PCM555 has up to 8 sequentially fired injector drivers and 8 ignition coil drivers, where the ECM555 has only one coil driver and two injector drivers. PCM555 and ECM555 look quite different, so they are easy to distinguish as shown in the photo. Engines equipped with these controllers have a flat 4-pin diagnostic connector on the engine harness and Diacom uses the 94006 cable end that has a matching flat 4-pin connector. The next system type on the list is the Mercruiser PCM09 system. This engine controller is only used on Mercruiser engines equipped with catalytic converters. The controller is made by Visteon and carries a Mototron sticker. It was introduced in 2008 on Mercruiser engines sold in the state of California and then used on engines sold nationwide beginning in 2010. This controller communicates with Diacom using the Diacom CAN adapter cable end shown in the picture. 
The next system choice is the Mercury Racing HP525. These engines use a PCM555 engine controller. Diacom has a separate system selection entry for this engine because of an extended data list display used for this engine. This extended data list displays additional data items unique to this engine. Diacom uses adapter 94006 to communicate with this engine type. The next system type is the Mercruiser Thunderbolt 5 ignition system. This ignition system is found on carbureted Mercruiser engines 1997 and newer. Although the Thunderbolt 5 module does not support any diagnostics or store fault codes, it does record engine operating hours. Diacom functionality for this system is to read total engine hours and also display an engine hour histogram. The diagnostic adapter used on this system is part number 94020 and is shown in the picture at the bottom right. As stated earlier, Diacom's help system provides detailed information related to connecting Diacom to all of the engine systems described in this video. The next system type supports 2.8 liter and 4.2 liter Mercruiser D-Tronic diesel engines. These engines were supplied to Mercruiser by Italian engine maker VM Motori and are equipped with a Bosch fuel injection system. These engines were built between approximately 1997 and 2007. Diagnostic adapter 94014 is required to communicate with these engines. The Mercruiser 7.3 liter Detronic diesel engine was supplied by Navistar and was equipped with one of two EFI system types which are both supported by Diacom. Early 7.3 liter engines used a Ford engine control module that is not shown in the Diacom menu, whereas later engines used a Navistar proprietary module that is shown in the photo. These engines were built between approximately 1997 and 2003. Diagnostic adapter 94021 is required to communicate with these engines. The next two system types support 2007 and later Pleasurecraft Marine and Crusader engines. The first system type is called ECM-07 and was introduced in 2007. ECM-07 equipped PCM and Crusader engines use an E-Controls engine control module and it is important to know that the engines were equipped with two data link connectors. The two data link connectors are physically different and they are used for two different purposes. The primary connector for diagnostics on ECM-07 equipped engines is a rectangular black 6-pin adapter that has two rows of pins, three pins in each row. This connector mates with Diacom Diagnostic Adapter Number 94026, which is shown in the photo below. All engine diagnostic data is accessed through this connector. A second data link connector on the engine is a flat six-pin OBDM compliant connector that is only used for reprogramming the engine control module. On ECM-07 equipped engines, no diagnostic information is available from this flat OBDM connector. It is also important to note that ECM-07 equipped engines were produced up through the 2009 model year. Therefore, ECM-07 systems can be found on 2007 through 2009 PCM and Crusader engines. The ECM-08 system was introduced on 2008 PCM and Crusader engines equipped with catalytic converters. These engines also use an E-Controls module, but are equipped with only one data link connector, which is the flat 6-pin OBDM compliant connector. The rectangular 6-pin connector is not present on these engines. 
All diagnostic information is available over the 6-pin OBDM compliant connector and requires the use of adapter 94023 or 94029 as shown in the photo. As a summary, if you are working on a 2007 or newer PCM or Crusader engine, if the engine is equipped with a rectangular 6-pin diagnostic connector, you must select the ECM07 system type and use that rectangular 6-pin connector to obtain engine diagnostic data. Even though a second OBDM compliant flat 6-pin connector is present on the engine. The next two system types are for Volvo Penta EGC or electronic gas control engines. These engines use an E-Controls engine control module. The first two model years of EGC engines, 2006 and 2007, use a round, white, 8-pin data link connector for engine communications with Diacom. Use adapter 94024 for these engines. This is the only diagnostic connector on the engine. There is a similar round black 8-pin connector on all EGC engines that is located near the white data link connector. This is the master-slave connector. It is keyed differently than the data link connector and is not the data link connector. All 2008 model year and newer Volvo Penta engines have the OBDM compliant flat 6-pin CAN bus connector as the only diagnostic connector in the engine harness. Use adapter 94023 or 94029 to communicate with these engines. The next choice is the Ilmore MV8 engines which are their 2012 and later 5.7, 6.0, and 6.2 liter engines. This ECM is built by E-Controls and looks similar to a MEFI 5 ECM except it is black and does not have cooling fins. These engines are equipped with the OBDM compliant 6-pin data link connector. Use CAN adapter 94023 or 94029 to communicate with these engines. Next is Ilmore's MV10 Generation 4 engines, which are their 650 and 725 horsepower V10 Viper engines. These engines use Ilmore's MECU or Marine Engine Control Unit. These engines are equipped with the CAN OBDM compliant flat 6-pin data link connector and Diacom uses the 94023 or 94029 CAN adapter. Ilmore's earlier V10 Generation 3 engines are not supported by the Diacom system. These earlier engines use an automotive engine control module which is compatible with most automotive OBD2 scan tools. Contact Elmore Marine for diagnostic information concerning these engines. The last inboard or stern drive system choice is generic OBDM. The generic OBDM choice can be used for any engine that is OBDM compliant. Note that the generic OBDM parameter list contains only parameters mandated by both CARB and the EPA and is transmitted and displayed in a generic format. Most engine manufacturer specific system type choices talked about previously contain much more engine specific information. CAN adapter 94023 or 94029 is used for generic OBDM communications. Thank you for watching this edition of Rinda Technologies Diacom Marine Diagnostic Software Training.